So yes, Labour's Brexit policy, what, what is going on? What is it with Jeremy? Well, you know, Jeremy the... will be making a speech on Monday and I, I think he will announce that Labour is in favour of not leaving the customs union, of having a customs union, if we go ahead with Brexit, that there should be a customs union yes. and not a customs barrier. Now that will be a rather different line than the current government is taking. Right. That is... Except that the current government has agreed that we will be in full regulatory alignment with the customs union and the single market, neither of which are on the uh, ballot paper. The ballot paper didn't settle any of these issues, Quite. of course. Um, but um, what the government is, uh, is saying on the regulatory front, which is this crucial single market, arguably even more important than the customs union, is to have divergence, so-called managed divergence. Now, if you diverge, you start having barriers. The British products are no longer going to be in conformity with our main export market. will have to be checked at the border or have red tape and bureaucracy ahead of being transported to verify that they are in conformity. That is a barrier that is damaging to our economy and damaging to jobs. Yeah. I understand you chaired the very short session at the Labour's National Policy Forum on Sunday. Yes. How did it go? Well, it was a good opportunity to, to discuss Brexit and to get people looking at the detail of Brexit, because the devil is in the detail. Right. It's a heck of a lot of detail. <laughs> Every day you turn yeah. over a stone and you find a new consequence of Brexit. Yeah. My goodness. Didn't think of that. Nobody talks about this. What will happen to that? And usually it's bad news. And it's important that people begun, begin to get to grips with the fact that if we go ahead with Brexit, there's one heck of a load of problems that come with it. OK. Um, has Jeremy really sussed that really, you know, you can't really have a jobs first Brexit? You know, at the end of the day, you know, yeah. the, damage, the damage to jobs is a matter of the, you know, how, how clutchy we are. The position of, of, of the Labour Party saying jobs come first. When the Conservative Party, well, the Conservative Government, sorry, comes back with a Brexit deal, which is manifestly a job destroying deal, yeah. which is where they are heading, Labour will have to oppose that deal, will vote against it in the House of Commons.